Hello, <laughs> I'm Jamie, welcome back to my channel. And uh, it's a channel that's been rather quiet here on YouTube for quite some time now, probably about six months. It's been six or seven-ish months since uh, I posted properly on this YouTube channel. Uh, but I'm here, I guess, to tell you if anyone's interested or anyone's still here, to tell you where I went, to tell you why I went, and to hopefully explain why I'm back. So this is how diabetes burnout affected me um, and how I guess I'm bouncing back. So the first summer of lockdown, the first summer of the pandemic was okay. You know, it was rough because I'd just lost a job um, and then I was all of a sudden freelance. And the thing is with freelance work is that um, you're not paid on time. People go out of their way to forget to pay you. So you spend your life working for people, then you know putting in more hours, trying to chase the payment that you're owed, which um, is like my least favorite part of the job. Um, so that just added all of this new stress to my life that wasn't there before because you know I had a, a, what I thought was a secure job. Um, was I wrong? I was wrong. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> You know, so I, I lost the job, I went freelance, found all of these new pressures, but you know, I'd worked sort of partially freelance before, I'd done some freelance work, um, and I, I was sort of aware of the challenges of working freelance, but having it be my whole income, that was kind of scary. So that started to unsettle me a little bit, and then, Something great happened by the February, I believe, February of 2021, so the start of 2021, I'd found a, a sort of new, more, I guess, permanent job. It's still freelance, but um, it's, I guess, more secure than the stuff that I was doing before that. That was great to begin with. I loved it. I loved the team. It's working as, I guess, a real serious journalist reporting on cryptocurrency news, which is something that I'm interested in not massively completely understanding absolutely every part of cryptocurrency but you know it's a learning curve and i'm learning on the job and that's what i like to do but this job was tough so all the video stuff that i'd done before wasn't really applicable in this job in journalism so what i was having to do was write articles about crypto news stories which you know people go to university for three, four years to learn how to write news articles well. I went to university to learn how to make nice looking videos and set up cameras and lights and all that sort of stuff. So this was something that I'd never done before and I found it really, really tough. I found it so tough. So an article, a two to 400 word article that would take a normal person between about two and three and a half minutes to read, that was taking me all day to write. That was taking the same amount of brain power and energy as it would take me to probably make a 20 to 25 minute video and you know this was serious stuff and that meant that all of a sudden I didn't have time for anything anymore and I was stressed and I was stressing about not being able to do this fantastically straight out of the gate because you know something it sounds a bit weird and arrogant to say but I've always the stuff that I've enjoyed and the stuff that I've chosen to do for a job, I've always been sort of good at, I've always been to pick things up really quickly, been able to pick things up really quickly. Um, but this, this wasn't it, this wasn't the same. I wasn't picking this up. I spent months and months and months stressing at my keyboard all day, stressing about how to structure an article, about getting it wrong and having to rewrite it and not writing it fast enough so the story had changed by the time I got to publishing it. And not only that, is that I was trying to impress a new team. And the thing about this team is that we're all spread across the world. We, it's a completely remote position, so asking for help was kind of difficult too. I'm happy to say that I stuck with it um, and I'm doing a lot better than I was initially. But all of that stress and all of this new uh, sort of time that I'd lost, that I was using to take, take care of myself, that had gone. Um, and I was trying my hardest to go to the gym every night, but the gym that I was going to was like, in Bristol and I live just outside of Bristol so I was fighting traffic every night to get to the gym and I was missing it regularly so that made things really tough really tough actually so struggling with a job meant that I didn't have time to do the things that I would usually do exercise make content for social media YouTube channel TikTok 
all those other stuff that I love to do. That had to go out of the window. I had to pause that um, because I was getting so burnt out. I tried my hardest to balance, to juggle them all to begin with, but that wasn't really possible because what needed my attention was this job. So I decided to step away from social media, not only because I wasn't really feeling able to do it, but also I wasn't really feeling like I was doing anything worthwhile on social media. So I guess what I was doing was just going through the motions. I didn't have the mental capacity to put everything that I needed to into a video. I was just doing the bare minimum and I wasn't enjoying what I was creating. And that was one of the reasons. So another one of the reasons is that through lockdown, I got really unhealthy. I've spoken about this quite a bit, I've spoken about it on podcasts. And even when I did speak about it, I continued to get progressively more unhealthy to the point where I didn't feel like me stepping in front of the camera. I didn't feel that confident. Even right now, you know, I feel a little bit Emba not embarrassed, but a little bit less confident to be in front of the camera. And then there's my diabetes management. Now that took a hit. That took a serious hit. Um, because of all the stresses that I've explained to you, my diabetes management was just not there. I was taking regular and extended breaks from my insulin pump. I even took a break from the Freestyle Libra because things were just going so bad for me that I didn't want to connect. I didn't want to know about it. I didn't want to acknowledge it. Um, and forcing yourself to realize that there's a problem that needs your attention is really something that was really difficult for me. So that's why I think it's burnout. New job, difficult job, that's thankfully a lot easier for me now. Trying to keep up with all the other stuff that I did before taking on the new and more difficult job. Managing a condition that wasn't going the way that I wanted to, a health condition that requires constant attention, attention, attention and management. All of those three things together meant that I wasn't coping, I wasn't doing well. So I took, I guess, the sensible decision to remove things from my life, to cut back, to reduce my workload. Now, the thing that was paying me the most money, the thing that I would uh, was considering as the most secure line of work at that time was my new job, my new uh, remote journalism job. So I, I stuck to that I, and I'm, I'm so glad that I did because I'm so, so very close to quitting. Um, and now it's loads better and I went to Amsterdam recently to meet all of the team and had a fantastic time and I'm so, so glad that I stuck it out because now I've got another skill. Now I can write news articles um, and very, very soon I'll be writing several news articles in a day, working towards that. You know, I've got goals and I've got things that I want to do in this new company. I'm feeling really positive and really, I guess, enthusiastic about where this, where this new job and this new business is going. So that is cool. And that's a nice feeling to have after all of that. But in, in getting to this position, I had to get rid of the social media stuff, arguably the stuff that I enjoyed the most but that's the stuff that I knew that I could come back to when I was ready. And that's what this is. And I also had to lose it because I, a lot of my content is centered around my life with diabetes. And at that moment in time, I was not being a, a responsible or particularly admirable or inspirational, let's say, person with type one diabetes. I was going against all of my own advice. I was being reckless and unreasonable and I was being stupid, really, really stupid about this health condition that I had that for the other five years, we're in my sixth year now, the other five years that I'd had it, I'd managed with, I guess, no problem. Um, so I needed to get my head together on that too. We've got the job sorted. We've got the diabetes in check again. And that means now that I can get back to doing stuff that I enjoy, like making content for YouTube and social media. So that's why I'm here today, to tell you that I was suffering from really bad diabetes burnout. I was struggling to keep up with life and my condition and it all got away from me. But um, I'm back now. I'm getting my act together. I'm by no means over that hill, but I am very close to being back to normal. And I'm feeling creative again. And there's more content that's coming on this YouTube channel. So I just wanted to drop in, explain where I've been and say um, thank you for still being here if you are. I know with social media platforms like YouTube and TikTok, 
unless you post regularly, unless you appear to be there on time and putting effort in, um, they don't necessarily treat you favorably. So you, if you are seeing this video, um, I would love to get a bit of interactions, a like, a comment, tell me how you um, managed to keep the burnout at bay or not. Tell me how you've struggled and let's you know, learn from each other's experiences. So yeah, some more content coming, diabetes content, informational stuff, stuff about my life. Also lots of travel stuff too, because I know there's a few subscribers of mine that enjoy that sort of stuff. I've climbed a couple of mountains and I'm really happy um, that I filmed it and I want to show them to you. So that's all on the way too. So if you're still here, thank you so much for being here. Um, and thank you for sticking around and thank you again for watching this video. My name's Jamie Lowe, this is my channel. I hope you're subscribed and I hope you like this video. If not, I hope to convince you next time. See you later guys, thanks for watching, bye bye.